and we are back doing Alex's playlist right now. Hi, I'm Z. I hate intros. Hate them. Alex did a playlist because he is a patron on Patreon. Your funds will go to a band. The funds will go to <laughs> sorry, I'm not just with them. They'll go to a band on GoFundMe. Every month I donate the money. So there's that. It's just weird plugging it, but then I'm like, well, you know, I need to plug it. But then I don't want to. So anyways, hello, anxiety. Chaos Weaver, Infected. This is the fourth song from Alex's 10 song playlist. The first song, well, Z fucked up. Uh, the second and third song have been done. You can go watch them if you want to. He has his own playlist on my channel. It is Araculum Alex Kimbrough. So, super excited. <laughs> I don't know why I did that face. All right. We got one. Here we go. I was just I was pumped up I was ready because Alex loves him some death metal black metal he's just the king of all obscure metal but and I was expecting this to ramp up and like it didn't go there so now I gotta calm my ass down and be like all right sit down bitch all right like a career of World of Warcraft because you would be amazing good sir holy shit that was impressive that was really that, that line right there crossbred at the shore of time that was really nice so here I'm like I'm just seeing like a skeleton man in my head just like walking through the night
Like every stanza, almost stanza high lit. I, I like what they're doing, changing everything up. It's it's just a complete change. They could have made a song out of every one of these with what they're doing musically, but they didn't, and they combined it all in the song, and I really like it. One thing I'm kind of confused on, which I know you're gonna say, dumb blonde bitch. Okay, I'll take that. Um, it's like to me. It's almost like a vampire, but not a vampire, because it's more complex than that. But it's this this entity, if you will, and he's already plagued by darkness. He's already going through so much. He kills for pleasure, but then there's also, he, he does have sense of remorse, too. So you have all of this, but then you have, it's like he time traveled or something, or he's in a different era. And it's embryos grow in isolation, a power source for the annihilation. How I wish my eyes would lie and deceive, for in the shadows I must run and hide. Why is someone who's got venomous fumes burning from his eyes, traces of sulfur bite, um, he's infected by darkness, and uh, he kills for pleasure and pleasure, pleasure and feasts on blood like wine, yet in the shadows he must run and hide. Do you know what I mean? It's like a... Um, Find a way back home. This is the dawn of a new breed. Huh. But it, it, I don't know, it's interesting. It's interesting, the, the way this is going. Because in my head, I always try to, to paint a story with everything based on like the lyrics and the music and it all kind of comes together in my head. And I don't know, it's, it's interesting. I wanna see how it finishes. different musical passage is a different time that he's being transported to? Could that be a part of it? because it oh god it had so much emotion into it it's like i want to go it's like being drawn to the light but but i can't help it it's like mesmerizing oh that was lovely that was lovely i want to listen to that again that was oh no don't change position just move back a little <laughs> a girl any man
it's just me, but like here at the end, like in my head, because I want there to be a rhythm guitar that's weaving in there. And I can hear it and it's almost evanescence-like. But again, this is my fault. I want to put guitars on everything and I want to add just these really beautiful wailing kind of weaving. I don't know. I think it would have been great there. Don't know why they didn't do it. But it would have sounded awesome. Please don't come for me if you're like, oh my god, this song is perfect without it. It's just like, it fits. It fits. I'm just saying, having that guitar right there would have been amazing. Okay, so here's what I figured out, and I had a light bulb moment about five lines before the song ended. Okay, it starts off with this dude, right? I know it's very millennial of me to say that. It starts off with this dude, and then he, he like time travels or he jumps in space or time, or whatever. There's a discontinuum going on. Okay, he sees what the world has become. It says, embryos grow in isolation, a power source for the annihilation. How I wish my eyes would lean, lie in to see from the shadows. I must run and hide. Obviously, he's alone. So, what he does, and it switches viewpoints, is he finds someone who also has like kind of this innate darkness in them he finds them lures them to himself the whisper of the ones calling me the scribe and the scribe and and then he infects someone else so that he doesn't have to be alone i'm infected the night falls near because the music also went back to something we had heard before when it came to dude demon dude whatever so you know that kind of there's, I don't know, that kind of leads me to believe that now this person who had a different musical passage to begin with, and then it transforms into the musical passage that we heard from Demon Dude, I don't know, that kind of relates. So, and then he has venomous fumes burning his eyes, traces were by his, there's nowhere to run, infected by the darkness I am, but he's not alone. So, I don't know, I see the silver lining in everything, and you might be like, yep, that's a third grade perception of that song good for you but i like it because there is a happy fucked it's a fucked up happy ending but at least he's not alone because it says the whisper of the wind is calling me so i like it i really liked it it's a it's an interesting song i just like really I like lyrics I can pick apart and that's also great because like my analysis of the lyrics might be totally different than yours but that's the great thing about music it's all about perception and that's so awesome so doing this this is what I love because you might see my video and then you'll write in the comments well hey this is my perception of it and then we can create this whole other world based off of one song it's so cool. It's so fucking cool. You really don't find lyrics like this unless you do go to a more obscure forms of metal. I'm telling you, when everyone thinks, I don't, I don't know. When I was an uneducated idiot and I would think black metal, death metal, it's like, you know, just noise. And now that I'm getting into it, no. These guys are the poets of our times. The Socrates, the Plato, the Shakespeare. This is where they gravitate to because their souls are so just ripped apart. They create the music, but then they still have that intelligent mind to create these awesome lyrics. So really gravitating towards the darker forms of metal, but it's not really dark. It's enlightening. It's what's the word? I guess obscure again. I have, I have to use that adjective again, even though I kind of don't like it. Um, basically smart metal. I've been gravitating towards smart metal. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling it that and everybody's gonna be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Alright. I hate to say on to the next one because I feel like it does this song an injustice and it's like, okay, on to the next one and it puts this aside. It doesn't put this aside. I wish I could sit here and talk about this for hours. I wish I could have a live stream where we could all talk about this and have an intellectual conversation about it. 
but I do have to finish the playlist and I do have to go on to the next song without disrespecting this one because this one just is a cornerstone for basically my channel all in itself so really 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 good I don't know a way to end after saying all that I don't know a proper way to like end the video so I'm just gonna hit stop